Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can calculate and predict your power bills uh, by using uh, spreadsheets in Excel. Uh, I love spreadsheets, I've been using it for a long time and within different types of work. But the first thing you have to do is to find out how much power your rig or your setup is drawing. You can do this by getting yourself a power meter that you can plug directly into a power socket, a power meter like this. Uh, uh, at the moment I am using a smart plug called Nedis Smart Life Smart Plug. It has Wi-Fi that connects to my Wi-Fi uh, network and I can read the power usage with an app on my phone. The, ha the app has some nice features and I can easily shut down the power with the app. So, but before we go ahead, uh, you need to open up an Excel spreadsheet. So what we're going to do now is that I'm going to show you how you set this up. You see here it's different, different calculations that you, uh, that you put together to get the correct or around this, the price, uh, what it will cost you. So let's uh, let's start. Okay, <coughs> the first thing you want to do is to set up uh, something like this. You want to. I have written rig one here. This is just an example. None of the numbers here is uh, is measured. It's just numbers that are taken out of nothing. The hours here represent the hours total hours within a month and for this period it's called uh, it's it's February that we and since February February have 28 days uh, these hours will be less than other months the period section here it's if you have a rig that's just running within a certain time of a month you can put that period here and you can calculate how many hours within that period and you put those values here now, I'm not going to use period, I'm going to go for a whole month uh, for all of my example. So I'm not going to adjust down for 14 days or something like that. Now this is the consumption per hour uh, on kilowatt hours. This tells me how, man, how much power my rig draws for each hour. The total consumption will be this multiplied with the hours. So if we head uh, in that tab, we can select equals. We go to this section, multiply it with the hours, and we get the total consumption of a month. And as you see, it's 324 kilowatt on that line. Now you see, the cost already came now. It's to, it tells me on a 10 cent average price, it will be around $32.40. And as you can see here, the, the section F5, which is the average price, multiplies with the section E5, which is total consumption. Now, instead of me doing, uh, writing down, I'll show you. If you, if you have start with a number like 1, 2, 3, and you want to, the next rig will be 2, the next third rig will be 3 and 4, I don't need to write it. I can just hold, uh, select this... Uh, section and I just drag down here and you see one two three four the same with the hours but this will not change it not will not go to 649 to 650 etc because this isn't a number uh, that is in uh, um, in, in a in a order if you understand so if I do this I get the same now so this is a nice function now I also want the average price, uh, the average price is of course also the same, so I just drag it down like this, and you see I get the same. And now I'm going to do the same here, and you see I uh, there, there is no value here, so at the moment it doesn't stand anything there. Uh, now we're going to have to calculate the rest. Now, since I already done it in the first line, I can do the same procedure here. And now we will get different numbers. 
because now it uses the equation here and copy that down. Now we need to sum it and you can do this in two ways. Either I can press equal sum uh, hold on I have to have big letters sum and I can select this and drag down and hit that one and enter and I get a total sum here or I can do it in another way I could just drag like this in the middle it doesn't matter where you do it you select the top section and drag all the way down to the section where you want to sum and you can hit auto sum auto sum on, on uh, the right side I can do this here too and now you see my power bill the prediction of my power bill will now be around 197.64 dollars for February. Now that's not bad. It's an easy way. Of course you need to have prices available and you can also check all the prices from previous years either from your uh, supplier or, or statistics webs or something. Uh, when calculating hours, I use a web page called timeanddate.com. They have some nice calculators here, where you can uh, where you can um, calculate the date from one time to another. So if I select the first of February, 2023, to the 28th of February, 2023, and the uh, Calculate duration, it tells me 672 hours, you see. And if I do this, it's 648 hours. Now, this is the result of 27 days, so we are going to, we need the end date. It will be 28 days, so you see, I already did something wrong, so it's 672 uh, there. Now, I don't want to write this all the way on all of those sections so I just do this and now we are $204 you see I, I miscalculated so this but you, anyway the, that just shows you uh, how this site and the function these sites have and you have a lot of functions you can you can uh, calculate the business days excluding holidays Weekday calculator, week number calculator, Roman number calculator, distance calculator. So it's a nice feature feature that's on this web page. This is what I'm using when I when I'm filling out the hours on to calculate my power bills. Now you can do it even more sophisticated, but that also means that you need to have some uh, some. Uh, uh, statistics available so this is an easy setup in, in Excel spreadsheet I'm pretty sure you can do this in Google spreadsheets too so um, for now I hope this helps you uh, if you have any comments please comment down below if you want to get notifications on future videos please uh, hit that subscribe button and not notification bell and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time have a nice day Thank you.